Hey guys, this is James and today I'm going to show you how you can use pen tool in Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get started. Here in Premiere Pro, if you see the sixth tool from the tool list is our pen tool and the shortcut is P. If you press P on your keyboard, then it will select the pen tool. If I just press P, then you can see it is selecting the pen tool. So what we can do using this tool, right? The common thing that you can do using the pen tool is drawing random shape. If you go to your program window, which is this one, and then if you click it will add point and again i'm clicking it will add another point like that you can add different point and when you are joining the points it will make a random shape you can see here on my timeline we have made a random shape and now we can modify the shape if you want then you can go to essential graphics panel which is here or you can just go to windows then enable essential graphics then this panel will appear and from here you can change the color of your shape if you want a different color then you can select it from here if you want to add stroke you can add stroke on your shape just like that right so this is the basic thing that you can do using the pen tool another thing you can do you can add keyframes using the pen tool suppose you want to animate a thing here if i show you this is a video clip right and if i play it back in the last section you can see the video stopping suddenly right but we want to have a gradual stop we want to have our opacity gradually decreasing from a point to another point right so suppose i want to decrease the opacity from here and here one more thing if i show you this is our effects if you right click here then you can select which option you want to alter so by default it will select the opacity section if you don't change anything then if you select the pen tool you can click here on this line if you don't see the line then you can just click on this range icon then you have to enable show video keyframe this option then you will see there is a line on your video and on your audio so i want to decrease the opacity of my video clips from here so i have to click here it will add a keyframe you can see there is a keyframe here and again i want to add a keyframe at the end of my clip so i am clicking here now you can click and drag this thus it will decrease the opacity if i play it back now you can see the opacity is decreasing very gradually right so you can make some basic animation using this also you can use this technique to make your custom transition suppose here is two clips and i want to transition between these two clips like it is fading to black again it is fading to this clip right so i have to put a keyframe here and then i have to put a keyframe here if I play it back normally, it will play suddenly. Nah? The switch is happening suddenly, right? So I am just decreasing the opacity here. Again, I am adding a keyframe here. Again, here, I am just decreasing this one. If I play it back now, you can see the transition is happening. It is going to black and again, it is transitioning to the next clip. Also, you can use the same technique for your audio files. Make sure on your effects panel from here, the selection is selected as level right and then you can add keyframe suppose i want to add a keyframe here i'm clicking here then again here then i can down the volume and now if i play it back it will decrease the volume gradually let's see so you can make a very interesting ending on your video clips using this technique right okay when you are editing maybe you don't want to switch between the tools a lot right so what can you do we normally use the selection tool a lot so when you are editing suppose you want to make a opacity keyframe what you can do select the selection tool now go here press ctrl on your keyboard then if you click here it will do the same thing it will add a keyframe here right again if i want to add a keyframe here press ctrl then click here it will add a keyframe now you can click and drag this to make the gradual opacity decrease right yeah we have done the same thing but we are not using the pen tool so in premiere pro you can do the same thing in different ways just find out your comfortable one and again you will see the same thing this pen tool on your effects panel if i select a clip then if i go on our effects panel if you don't see then you can always go to window then select effects control then this panel will appear and here on this opposite section you will also see a pen tool right 
this is our pen tool so what we can do using this pen tool right we can make mask using this pen tool just click the pen tool then click on your program monitor to make a mask it will make a mask on your clip we can see we have masked out the part of this area right so you can do masking using the pen tool and one more thing when you are making the shape using this pen tool you can just click and then if you just click and drag it will make rounded line if you want to have a rounded line you can just click and then drag it will make a rounded line thus you can make a rounded mask using this pen tool so that is all we'll learn about the masking technique on a later video but for today that is all i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more video just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye